Hi guys, it's Yasmin and today I will be sharing five interesting facts about New Zealand. I was actually born in New Zealand, but I grew up here in Australia. I think New Zealand is a really awesome country, so I wanted to talk a bit about it today. Okay, let's begin. The first point is population. New Zealand has a population of around 5 million people and 26 million sheep. There used to be almost triple the amount of sheep in New Zealand, but the number of sheep has been declining since the 1980s. Nowadays, there are around 5 to 6 sheep to one New Zealander. So if you go to the countryside in New Zealand, you will definitely see lots of farms and animals like cows, horses, and of course, sheep. Another interesting point is that New Zealand is a similar size to the United Kingdom. However, around 66 million people live in England while only 5 million live in New Zealand. So there is a lot of space for farm animals and nature in New Zealand. The next point is languages. New Zealand has three official languages, which are English, New Zealand Sign Language, and Maori. Māori is the language of the Māori people who are the original settlers to New Zealand. So if you come to New Zealand, you will see lots of signs written in Māori. Three Māori words you should know are 1. Kia ora, meaning hello. 2. Haere mai, meaning welcome. And 3. Aotearoa the Māori word for New Zealand, which means land of the long white cloud. Also, Māori is taught in New Zealand schools and is a very important part of New Zealand's history. Point number three is rugby. Rugby is probably the most popular sport in New Zealand. In fact, rugby union is New Zealand's national sport. New Zealand's rugby team is very popular and they are called the All Blacks. The All Blacks logo is a silver fern, which is a species of tree only found in New Zealand. If you want to have a really interesting experience in New Zealand, I recommend watching a rugby match, either in person or on TV in a pub. Rugby fans get really excited watching rugby games, so it can be a lot of fun. This is because many New, Ze New Zealanders, <laughs> many New Zealanders, both girls and boys, played a lot of rugby when they were younger and especially at school. So becoming a professional rugby player is a dream job for many kids in New Zealand. Point number four is Kiwi. The word Kiwi has three meanings in New Zealand. The first meaning is Kiwi fruit. I really love kiwi fruit and I think it is really delicious. Kiwi fruit juice is also really yum. The second meaning of kiwi is New Zealander. We say kiwi for someone from New Zealand and Aussie for someone from Australia. So if you come to New Zealand, you might be asked, are you a kiwi? Are you a New Zealander? The last meaning of the word kiwi is kiwi bird. Kiwis are very cute birds native to New Zealand. Kiwis cannot fly and they are also nocturnal, meaning they sleep during the day 
and are active at night. Kiwis are very shy, so it is quite rare to see them in the wild. The next point is about The Lord of the Rings. Have you ever watched The Lord of the Rings before? It is a really famous movie and book series, and the movies were filmed in New Zealand by film director Peter Jackson, who is a New Zealander. It is such a big movie series that it actually boosted New Zealand's economy and brought many Lord of the Rings fans to New Zealand as tourists. If you are a fan of the Lord of the Rings, I highly recommend visiting Hobbiton. Hobbiton is a movie set where many famous scenes from the Lord of the Rings were filmed. They also do tours and banquets at Hobbiton, so you can try experiencing Middle Earth for yourself. It looks really cool, so you should definitely try visiting there one day. Here is a quick bonus fact about New Zealand. The longest place name in the world is a hill in New Zealand. Unfortunately, I can't pronounce it correctly, so I will just put it on the screen for you to have a look. That's all the facts I have for today, but let me know if you would like to see another video like this. Also, let me know in the comment section below if you learned anything new about New Zealand today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as I make new videos about English every week. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!